Uh, this morning I have a great recipe for you. We are going to be making blueberry muffin in a mug. This is a great recipe. I really enjoy it. It's an excellent way to start your day. It's Monday. You're in a hurry. You're by yourself. The kids are still in bed. People are off to work and you just need something to eat real quick. These instant recipes in a mug are perfect. Uh, what you're going to need for it is you'll need some melted butter. We're going to need sugar, flour, some vanilla, milk, a little bit of baking powder, and of course those delicious fresh or frozen blueberries. You can use either, whatever you have in your house. So to start the recipe, we are gonna take two tablespoons of butter and melt it. I did that ahead of time for us, so we're ready to go. Now we're gonna mix everything in a separate bowl. I've seen some uh, muffin recipes in a mug where they put it right in the mug and mix it all together. I feel this recipe works a little bit better. Sometimes mixing in a mug can be difficult and you won't get all your dry ingredients incorporated well. So I like to use a separate bowl idea for this, and you know me, I don't like using extra bowls if I don't have to. Uh, but this works really well it allows you to make sure all the dry ingredients are mixed in so we're going to take our two tablespoons of melted butter and to it we're going to add two and a half tablespoons of sugar i'm just using regular granulated sugar today if you have a sugar substitute you want to be using you can do that also so i'm going to add two and a half tablespoons of the sugar we're gonna mix everything right up in our little bowl here remember we're using this small bowl because this is a one person serving well you can share it but I doubt it if you're anything like me you're not gonna share your sweets very willingly uh, so it's again just in a mug now if you're using a teacup which is a smaller size you'll want to separate it into two teacups uh, if you're having a guest over this morning so also to this we're going to add our quarter cup of flour. I'm using regular all-purpose flour. Uh, lots of times I'm baking. It's a little more difficult to use the flour alternatives. I'm not saying it's impossible. You just have to do your research and practice and see what works best in your recipe because lots of times with the flour alternatives it's not an equal um, transition from the regular white flour. Oat flour typically is, but when you come to almond flour and coconut flour, it's a little more tricky. So we're just using traditional all-purpose white flour today. And also to this, we are going to start mixing it and then we're going to add our baking powder. We're adding baking powder today. We only need a half a teaspoon of that. So I'll get that out and we're going to put that in. Of course, this is going to help our muffin blueberry muffin in a mug to rise and get nice and fluffy and delicious and we're also going to add uh the rest of our wet ingredients which will be the vanilla and the milk i'm using a half a teaspoon of vanilla which is a half a capful and then we're going to be using milk uh, i'm using almond milk today and we're putting in uh let's see two tablespoons of the milk so we'll add that right here and it's wonderful because everything mixes up in this one little bowl here. Obviously, if you wanna make this for more than one person, uh, just double it or triple it depending on how many people want their blueberry muffin in a mug this morning. So we're just gonna mix it all together, making sure the dry ingredients are mixed in well and we don't have a lot of lumps in our blueberry muffin batter here scraping the sides and the bottom to make sure there's nothing left over and then we're just going to drop in our blueberries the recipe it's kind of funny it calls for seven or eight i just took grabbed some and threw them in mine when i uh tried one right before this so i just but they say if you want to be specific you add seven or eight blueberries so i'm just gonna kind of scatter my batter and lightly stir them into the mixture you don't want to crush or smash your blueberries and then all you do next is we are going to pour it right into our mug that we are going to be putting in the microwave. Try and get it right down in the center of your mug and so it doesn't spill on the sides. Uh, we don't want the muffin batter to burn. So we're going to put that right in and then we're going to put it in the uh, microwave. Now they say it goes up to two minutes, but that depends on your microwave's power uh and how strong it is so i would recommend starting out at approximately 45 seconds and going from there so i'm going to pop this in the microwave real quick and i'll show you one i have done already i'm going to set mine for about a minute and then i'll go back and check it 
but I'll try and show you this, how nice and fluffy it comes out. I did one just before, and it's delicious and light and airy and fluffy blueberry muffin in a mug. It's gonna go delicious with that fresh cup of coffee you have this morning to get the day started. And although it's not the best option before Steph's workout, at least I'm getting something to eat. So I hope you guys have a wonderful morning. I'm gonna wait for that one to finish. And when Cadence gets up, that will probably be part of her breakfast. And I hope you guys enjoy your morning and I'll see you at 10 at Zoom and then back at noon.